eternity. Marvin Gaye. You know. Can you imagine if an airplane crashed and Boeing 747, which holds about 500 or so passengers, depending on their arrangement, if it crashed maybe once a week, do you think that would be major news? Yes. What if it happened two, three, four, or seven times per week? That would be significant, right? We would be suing Boeing. What's wrong with Boeing? Why are they building these aircraft that are crashing all the time? But there's something that's even worse than airplane, airplane crashes that kills even more people as much as five Boeing 747s per day. But do you hear anything about that in the news? Maybe some of you in the nutrition world, you've heard about it before. What are the top causes of fatalities within the United States? Anyone care to guess? Heart disease, Heart disease. Heart disease. and? Diabetes. Well, close, cancer. 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 That's correct. Between those two, over a million people die every year. Can you imagine that? But in the news, we don't hear about the fact that 500 or 2,500 people die every single day because of this, these diseases. And I'm sure more than one of you might have been touched by either heart disease or cancer. <coughs> The thing that I want to do is bring this a little bit out in the open, but also to show you that there is an alternative. Now, a year ago, I went on a journey with my wife, and we're still on that journey. And that journey is going plant-based. Plant-based means we don't eat meat at all. We don't do eggs or milk or any dairy. And so far for us, so good. And what we were thinking about is our future. Why did we get started in this? I first read a book uh, called Finding Ultra by Rich Roll. He's an ultra endurance athlete that did ultra marathons. That means over 42 kilometers or 26.2 miles in a single race. So 50 kilometers to 100 mile races. And he went full plant-based. Means he had no meat at all, nothing, no dairy, no eggs. And But the first thing he did was go vegan junk food and he felt terrible, which you can go vegan and still eat unhealthy. That's a key thing to think about. So that's a one myth. Just because I'm going vegan doesn't mean you're going to eat healthy. You can still eat terribly while being vegan. But you might also question and say, but Marvin, I love my meat. It tastes so good. Just Think about cooking meat by itself. How does meat taste without any condiment, without any flavoring? Have you ever tried it? Is it pretty bland? <laughs> <laughs> what do you put on the meat so it could have flavor? Cheese salt. <laughs> you have salt, you have onions, you have garlic. You put vegetables on the meat to, to make it taste good. Hmm. 
make you think about it. Another myth. But Marvin, where am I going to get my protein from? <laughs> ah, yes. Protein, dear protein. We have so many nuts, legumes, flaxseed, any type of seeds that are giving you a lot of protein already. There is, of course, a, a value concern that there are some vitamins that don't occur naturally in vegetables, like vitamin B12, there's vitamin D. But if you drink, for example, almond milk or coconut milk or any of those other milks, they're fortified with these vitamins and minerals. You, and there's nutritional supplements as well, which I, I don't take any nutritional supplements. I get all of my vitamins and minerals from what I ingest. So for me, that's, I don't think that's a valid concern. And I've been doing it for a year and I run every day. I play soccer. I have full amount of energy that I always had. So I don't miss it. Third thing, but Marvin, I'm going to lose muscle. I'm not going to gain any muscle. I'm not going to have energy. Well, I'm living proof that you can have energy and still be plant-based. I recently did, in September, a mar my first marathon. And I was already vegan. I had full energy that I needed. It was tiring, as you would expect from a marathon, 26.2 miles. But, you know, I'm ready to do it again. And even greater distances as well. I'm wow. Hey. <laughs> He's making sweat with his hands. No snotty gas drinking. <laughs> but my point today is this. I'm not here to tell you this so you can become a tree hugger, tree hugger, <laughs> or a whale saver. Well, actually, I would prefer that you did, but but I'm here to tell you this because I care about you, and I'm thinking about your long-term health. I want you you to be have a long, healthy life. The key thing is healthy, not have a long life in the hospital, long, healthy life. Just consider it an alternative. Mr. Toastmaster.